Okay, um, let me um, now turn to another um, uh, important part of this, this story, and that is, why are we so confident that we know the age of the universe? How much time has elapsed since the beginning, the quote beginning, okay? We can get very close to it. Um, it is tens of billions of years. Why are we so certain? Well, this is why. Um, um, we can measure the expansion of the universe, and these are three different histories of the expansion. Here we are today, we're measuring the universe expanding, that's what this, either, either of these lines mean. So there's a universe which will keep on expanding, expanding forever and ever as time goes on, getting bigger and bigger. There's a universe over here which is just going to make it if it keeps on expanding. And there's one which I haven't drawn which will collapse in the future and come down like this to another future, future Big Bang, okay, or future crunch point it's called. And then there's another universe over here which has, been which has begun to accelerate in the recent past, and, and he's expanding more, more rapidly, okay? So it has a, it has a okay? And this, is, and this is probably, um, and because it's got a bit of acceleration, it began a little bit earlier than these other universes. Okay, so we believe from the data that we've measured this extra push in the expansion, this so-called acceleration, and this time we can measure from, just from doing, from measuring the data over here, basically, near, near the present time, all the galaxies we can see, that's what this green circle represents symbolically, and that gives us a measure of the age, because if things are expanding, then we know how long they've been going for. And that time is 13.7 billion years. Okay, so that's a time you get from looking in the sky. Okay, now you can also date the universe from something else, okay? And this is a time that you get from looking at the Earth, okay? And the amazing is you get the same age. So how, does, how do we measure such an old time scale on the Earth? The Earth is only, you know, um, 4.7 billion years old. That's the age of the um, inferred to be, you know, from the oldest meteorites, etc., the age of the solar system, and we infer that's the age of the Earth too. So the way you do this is you use radioactivity. So you look at uranium and its isotopes. It decays into lead, um, a lead isotope. And the half-life of uranium decay um, is very long. For this particular transition, it's 4 billion years. So if you can measure the isotopes in a sample of lead and uranium, then you can infer how much has decayed. It's really like a natural clock. You can tell whether, you know, if you're very old, it's all decayed. If you're very young, it's half decayed, etc. And so by, from the ratios, and there are one or two other isotopes that come in the story too, but they're all naturally occurring isotopes, you can use natural radioactivity, okay? Not man-made, you know, there are other isotopes of uranium which are very useful, like uranium-235, which has a shorter lifetime and is, you know, used for other things. But this, this gives you another age, and from this you can also conclude by measuring different isotopes of lead, but the universe has an age of, again, very, very close, nearly 14 billion years, just from doing radioactive chemistry in the old rocks, oldest rocks on the Earth. Okay, um, so that's another example of using local fossils, rocks, basically, to deduce the cosmic, cosmic age, which you also get independently from looking at the most distant galaxies in the universe. It's really an amazing coincidence, and because we get the same age from these two incredibly different approaches, we're convinced that the universe really is this old. And if anyone tells you the universe is 5,000 years old, you will say, well, you know, maybe it says so somewhere, but, but this is what we actually measure, and, uh, and uh, that should be the end of the debate. Okay.